This is a one minute journal club ish. This is not medical advice. Do not trust me. Read the article for yourself by clicking the link, although it's not free. Hat tip to these authors. How do you decide whether your sepsis or septic shock patient needs IV fluids? We are going to be looking at stroke volume guided resuscitation. This study is a retrospective look at almost 200 patients. Half had stroke volume guided resuscitation. The other half had usual care. They defined fluid responsiveness as an increase in the stroke volume by greater than or equal to 10%. Overall, they found that only 53% of patients were fluid responsive. The stroke volume based resuscitation group had some key differences from the usual care group. At 24, 48, and at the end of their ICU stay, there was a significant difference in the amount of fluids between the two groups. At the end of the ICU stay, 1.77 liters versus 5.36 liters. There was no difference in mortality. The stroke volume group spent two days less in the ICU. Fewer patients ended up on mechanical ventilation with 29% versus 57%. Fluids may be good for the kidneys, but too much fluid is harmful. 6.25% of the patients in the stroke volume group needed dialysis versus 19.5 in the usual care group. Are you doing anything like this in your ICU? Well, you should.